morning guys and welcome back to the channel it's been a while since i've made a vlog from home so in today's video we're gonna have a very chill day at home i just did my morning routine which includes um, reading in a book that i'm reading and writing in my gratitude journal normally i also do a little workout but as i've been sick for the past week or a little bit more I don't f still don't feel that well to do a workout yet, but I do bike around the city and walk, so I will go on a little walk later as the weather is amazing. But before I start rambling, I just wanted to say that this video is sponsored by Organic Basic, and I'm so grateful that they want to be a part of this little universe on my YouTube channel. I'm actually wearing one of their comfy soft pajamas, and I'm not lying if I tell you that I've been living in this set for the past weeks, of course, I've washed it, but it's so soft, so whenever I wash it and it's dry, I put it on immediately. I, by the way, made an iced coffee. So today it is the 8th of May, and the time is around 8.15, 8.30 in the morning. And I'm heading out later. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm gonna make my breakfast. But of course, I had to have an iced coffee to start the day. It has become a habit to enjoy my um, iced coffee in the morning while reading or writing in my journal. But I will tell you more about Organic Basic later because now I will make some breakfast. Then I will wash some clothes, also organize a little bit here because it's a bit messy in the apartment, but that's okay. Maybe do a little vacuuming. And then later I will go for a walk and then I have a coffee day with my friend Lina and I don't know where we want to go yet but I will tell you when I know so I will update you guys later on that point then yeah just have a very chill day at home which is really needed because of the past few weeks has been very hectic so I really need to calm down and have some slow days and also to you know proper heal because next week I'm going to Stockholm for the Taylor Swift concert and I'm so so excited and I can't believe that it's already here the concert because we bought the tickets like a year ago and now it's now and I'm so stressed about the outfit because I see all these cool amazing girls on TikTok wearing these amazing outfits but I'm sure I will find something and I can't believe that we're already in May either it's so crazy to me that we're in May I want to go for a walk later because the sun is shining and the skies are blue so that's the perfect opportunity to go and enjoy the nice weather. Now I'll make some breakfast and then I'll catch up with you guys later. to you guys about Organic Basics which is a Danish brand designed here in Copenhagen. I'm literally living in this comfy pajamas. It's so soft and it's so comfy and it's made of organic cotton and I love wearing it. As I mentioned the video today is sponsored by Organic Basics and I'm so grateful to be working with a brand who focuses on sustainability, ethical work environments and focusing on timeless designs that you can wear over and over again because the more you wear your clothes the better it is for our 
planet. I wanted to show you some styles that I've got from Organic Basics. Like I mentioned, they focus on creating the best basics for your wardrobe, which consists pajamas, t-shirts, underwear, socks, tops, sweat sets, and everything that you can imagine is like a basic thing in your wardrobe. I thought that would be fun to show you guys what I've chose from the brand. I love wearing basics. I love having a basic t-shirt that matches some jeans or pants. So I found this very cool merch t-shirt that they are having. I think it's so cool. I really love the oversized fit and the material is of course made of organic cotton. But the best thing is the bag of it. It's so cool. I love the print, but at the same time, it's a statement piece. So I, I think I will style it with some jeans, but also maybe some linen pants now that it's summer soon. The t-shirt that I chose is this stripe t-shirt. I have a thing for stripes. So this t-shirt was perfect and it's so soft and comfy. And it's also made of organic cotton, which is one of their primary values that the material is either recycled, organic, or sustainable. So the bags that they send your styles in are made of 100% biodegradable and 100% recyclable materials. Organic basics is that they really, really care for the environment and for maintaining a sustainable view over fashion. So I just wanted to show you this little one. Then I also have the cool sweat set. I will put it on because I will head out for a walk in a bit but also um, for a coffee date with Aline. And it's so comfy to stay at at home, but also when you're in the city. But when it comes to underwear, I like it when it's very comfortable and soft and when it feels like you don't wear anything. So I've worn their bralette in gray and I love it. It's so comfy and it's so soft and it doesn't like bother me anywhere because that's one thing I don't like about underwear. And the last set that I chose from Organic Basic is another basic timeless uh, set. I love set, it's one of my favorite things. This one is knitted, so it's so perfect when it gets a little bit colder, but also during summer when it's cold at night. And I chose the pants too, and they're so cute. I love that they are flared. And it's knitted and it's the perfect color. I think that Organic Basic truly believes in. Focus on using the best materials, but also high comfort. And focusing on being eco-friendly, but also people-friendly. I'm really grateful to be working with such a cool brand on making fashion a better place. Right now, you can save 10% off your next purchase on Organic Basic's website. And my personal code is Yunsun10. And it gives you 10% off your next basics, timeless designs, which you can use every day at home when you're on the go, but also when you just want to stay comfy. You can also find the code right here, but I will also link it in the description box with links to the items that I've chosen. And I hope that you like it. back on the vlog as I'm, per usual i feel like i'm always here you're always popping in. i love it i love it <laughs> we just got an iced coffee from Gold, yes and we just talked about that it's our favorite i, I think it's to do 
It's literally the it's best. Literally, <laughs> literally the yeah. best iced coffee I've ever tried. Yeah, it's so creamy and it's mm. just amazing. They make a homemade homemade um, caramel sauce. Yes, and it's. Oh. Yeah, I bought it. It's a chef kiss. <laughs> it's so good. I bought it for myself at home. It is. I use yeah, it all you can. The time. Yeah, you can buy the bottle and then yeah. you just make your own ice latte at home. Exactly. Right now we're sitting at Kessin Town, which is like, or Amsterdam, <laughs> in Copenhagen. It's, yeah. They we have some cute canals, and we're just enjoying the sun and looking at the beautiful view. Copenhagen is finally green and blooming, so it's we're amazing. just taking it all in. Yes. And we haven't seen each other for a few weeks, yeah. <clears throat> and that's not normal. <laughs> no, no, it's not. So I feel like it's been so forever, forever since yeah. we saw each other last. Time. But life's been busy, yeah. and yeah. yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. But I'm so yeah. glad we're together again. Yeah, me too. We're just gonna sit here, enjoy the weather, stroll around, and yeah, just take it all in. <laughs> yeah, it's an amazing sun, sunny day today. Yeah, yeah, it and it makes it. like your energy. Just get so much more, um, I don't know, happier, and everything just feels amazing. So I'm back home after spending a cozy time with Lina at Christian Town and the weather was really nice and we sat at a cute cafe called Bolton and it's a place that I wanted to visit for a long time and it was so cozy and so hygge, definitely the definition of hygge and then we strolled around Christian Town by the canals and it's seriously one of my favorite spots in Copenhagen, I feel like. It also reminds me of Amsterdam a lot. And it just makes me miss the city even more. But it was so nice to catch up with her and hear everything, how it was going. Because I've been sick and she's been traveling. And then she was so kind to give me some chocolate from Belgium, where she visited her boyfriend. And yeah, we just had such an amazing afternoon together. Now I'm back home and I've just been relaxing a little bit. And... Later, I will make some pizza for me and Louise, and then we will probably just have a very chill day here at home. Basically, how a typical day in my life looked like. So filled with some work in the morning, a good morning routine, usually shooting some content outside or here at home, just meeting up with some friends, then do some more work and just relax, enjoy the weather, go for a walk, and have dinner with Luis and Bea. around 7 p.m. and me and Luise actually made a meal plan for this week because it saves us a lot of time and a lot of money that is something we are trying to be better at as she is working late and I haven't been feeling like uh, on top of the world then I decided to make pizza because that is actually something we wanted to do on Sunday but as I'm a little bit tired and she's coming home late I thought that this would be a delicious and easy way to get uh, dinner tonight. I'm making pizza. I'm super hungry actually. And I don't know if I'm the only one, but I love like when I'm cooking it on my own. I love to listen to music and actually also just dance around um, and have fun. I don't know. Music is just something that brings me a lot of joy and I actually love to dance too. So I'm actually thinking about if I should start like going to a fitness class where they have dance or like Zumba. That's just something I've been thinking about for a while. But now that it's summer, I also know that I probably won't have a lot of time to do it. So maybe that's something I should do in the fall. Put corn on our pizza. And I think some people would find me very weird and maybe be mad at me for doing it, but we really like it. I made uh, one with chicken kebab and one with pepperoni. So it's very easy, very chill. But it's super convenient now that we just want to do something quick and easy. So that's what we're having for dinner. Then we're gonna relax and just 
watch a few episodes of Modern Family Oven and then we will have dinner in 